So class, uh, bago tayo mag-umpisa, uh, batiin naman natin na ating mga peer evaluators dito, ang ating mga future teachers from Tarlac State University. We have Ma'am Alice, uh, Sir Ryan, Sir Jid, and uh, Sir Jude. And so with them. Good morning, Pa. Good morning, Pa. Good morning, Pa. Yes, ma'am. Class, can you open your cameras?
Albion sa Albion Wait na lang yung best level Hindi ko Best level Ano sa mga Hindi mo kung sinabi si Gisi lang kung start na rin Kung anong oras na start na Hindi yata yung tayo yung busi dito Pero wala ka din siya Wala ka din siya Okay class, so before we proceed to our formal discussion, let's have first our opening prayer. May I call on Marlito to lead our prayer? Okay, let us pray. Panginaon, maraming salamat doon. Dito ay pwede ng pwede ng isa ako dito. Gabay mo ka ang mga upang pang ito. I-explore at mag-share ng kanyang kanyang alam na. Ito lang po ang aming kailangan. Amen. So, hello everyone. Welcome to Sir Vincent's class. Good morning. Good morning. Hello and how are you? How are you, group one? One, two, Wow! It seems that Group 1 are very happy for today's session. So now, let's proceed to Group 2. How are you, Group 2? 1, 2, 3, 2. Hi, Mr. Vincent. We are the Group 2 and we are ready. Just call us lovely. Wow! Group 2 are very lovely, like their emojis. And how about the Group 3? Morning, Sir Vincent. We are grateful. We are grateful, Sir Vincent. Sir Vincent, thank you for our food. Thank you for our food. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Wow, that's great. It seems that all of you are excited for our class. So, with that, before we proceed to our uh, formal discussion, uh, may I call on the group one leader to tell who are the absent for today? Wow! With that, let's have your signature club. Wow! So now, uh, may I call on the group 2 leader to tell who are the absent for today? Good day, Sir Vincent. I'm glad to inform you that we are all present today. That's nice! So with that, let's hear your signature club. Wow, mukhang mahilig mag-cha-cha ang group 2. So, uh, how about the leader of group 3? Good day, sir. Yeah. I'm happy to inform you that all group 3 are present. Very good. So with that, let's have your signature club. 1, 2, 3. Good day, sir. Good job. Good job. Good job. 
Good job, everyone! It seems that all of you are ready for our discussion. So before we proceed, let's discuss first our class or house rules. Okay? So, first is use a quiet and productive place. Number two is listen and pay attention. Number three is raise your hand if you would like to speak. And number four is unmute your microphone when asked. And always be prepared. Okay? Ayan. So, para malaman natin ang natutunan ninyo sa ating nakaraang talakayan, ay magkakaroon tayo ng isang activity. So, this activity is called Fact or Love. Okay? Are you ready, class? Yes, sir. So, Okay, for our instruction, there are five statements to be identified as fact or bluff. So, the second uh, one is each statement will be flashed for 10 seconds on the screen. All of you are required to open your camera to be able to show your improvised placards with icons of fact or bluff that you made last time. So, any questions? Clarifications? Ayan. So, I think all of you are ready for our uh, activity. So, let's proceed for the first statement. So, partnership is vibrant relationship among diverse players. Okay, I repeat. Partnership is vibrant relationship among diverse players. Okay? Is it a fact or blah? Raise your placards, class. Oh. So, based on our uh, screen, the... You are uh, answering fact. We have fact. Crystal Jane is answering fact. Evelyn is also answering fact. So let's see. So the correct answer is fact. So very good, class. So now let's move forward. So partnership is defined as a key to effective watershed management. Okay? I repeat. Partnership is defined as a key to effective watershed management. Okay? Is it a pack or a lab? Raise your placards, class. Okay? So, ayan. So, nakikita natin ngayon na uh, the answering pack, we have pack, um, also NAS is answering pack. So, let's see. The correct answer is pack. So, very good. Ayan, so are you enjoying class? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's nice. So now, let's proceed to the third statement. Ayan, so the principles of partnership include trust, mutuality, solidarity, and accountability. Again, the principles of partnership include trust, mutuality, solidarity, and accountability. Okay? Is it a Pack or bluff? Napakabilis naman ni Alia. Ayan, so inalin. We have pack. We have bluff. Okay, so na, na, medyo nakukumpis sila. So, tignan natin. The correct answer is... Pack. So, pack pa rin siya. Okay. So, now, uh, let's move forward to the fourth statement. Ayan. Okay. Solidarity is the foundation of all the principles of partnership. Okay, I repeat. Solidarity is the foundation of all the principles of partnership. Is it a fact or blah? Okay, so based on our screen that um, Kenneth is confused, Kurt Minkus is answering uh, blah, we have Marlito is also blah, um, James is fact, okay? So, the correct answer is, yeah, and so bluff, okay? So, now, let's proceed to the last statement, which is the fifth statement. So, the role of partnership building can manifest in two ways, which are infor a formal and informal. I repeat, the role of partnership building can manifest in two ways which are formal and informal. So, 
Okay, class, raise your placards. Okay, we have Bluff. Evelyn is answering Bluff. James is also answering Bluff. Kurt is back. Okay, so let's see. The correct answer is... Ayan. So, Bluff. It's a Bluff. Okay, so... Based on our activity, I'm very glad that you all, you apply all of our, uh, yeah, all of our um, knowledge that you uh, learned based from our activity last meeting. So, before uh, we proceed to our formal discussion, let's have first an activity to be, uh, to be, to serve as a guide and to serve, uh, to give you a more uh, enlightenment regarding our uh uh, new topic for today. Okay, so our activity is called Your voice sounds familiar. Are you ready class? Wow. Yes, so I, uh, I, I believe that all of you is very excited for today's uh, activity. Okay, so let's proceed for our instruction. So I will play a digital voice record from the famous lines of different Philippine leaders or icons. So you will be identifying whose voice of the famous line is uttered by. For the number three, you will be using the chat box for your answers. So any questions, clarifications regarding our instruction? Ayan. So... I think all of you are ready for our activity. So let's proceed for our first audio record. And so use our chat box. Ayan. So... Okay, you can answer. Ayan, so kung nakikita natin ngayon na wala pa yata sumasagat. So, okay, we have Andres Bonifacio, Andres Bonifacio, Bonifacio, Bonifacio. Okay, let's see. So, the correct answer is Andres Bonifacio, the founder of kataas-taasang kagalang-galangang katipunan ng mga anak ng bayan. Okay, so now let's proceed. Wow, napakabilis naman ni Jim Lin. So, Dr. Jose Rizal. Dr. Jose P. Rizal. Jose Rizal. So, let's see. The correct answer is Dr. Jose P. Rizal. The, our national hero and the author of the famous novel which is Noli Bitang Here and El Pilibusterismo. Are you enjoying class? Yes. Wow, nakakatuwa naman, nakakatuwa naman isipin na lahat tayo ay nag enjoy sa ating uh, aralin ngayong araw. So now, let's proceed. Wow, napaka-active naman ni Jamie Lynn, General Luna, or Stephanie, General Luna, General Luna, General Antonio Luna. So let's see. The correct answer is... General Luna or General Antonio Luna. So si General Luna ay siya sa actually siya yung uh, punong general ng uh, digmaang Pilipino at Amerikano na kung saan siya ay napatay sa Nueva Ecija. Okay? So now, let's proceed. Ayan, di ba? Napaka-familiar. Wow! Marlito! Rodrigo Duterte, President Rodrigo Duterte, Duterte, okay, so let's see, the correct answer is President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, our 16th President of the Republic of the Philippines, and he is also the first President who came from, from Mindanao region, okay, we will proceed now to our fifth state, a fifth of the record. Ayan. I recognize the 
making any such call was a lapse in judgment. Wow. I am sorry. So we have, based on our chat box, we have Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, GMA, GMA, GMA. Ayan. So wala bang mag abs dyan? Mukhang puro kayo GMA. So tignan natin. So the correct answer for this audio record is... Gloria Makapagal Arroyo. So, si Gloria Makapagal Arroyo, siya yung pangalawang pangulong babae ng Pilipinas. So, siya yung namuno noong 2001 hanggang 2010. Okay? So, did you enjoy our activity? Yes, sir. Yes. So, based from our activity, what do you think our topic for today? Again, Based from our activity, what do you think our topic for today? Anyone? Yes. Yes, Inalin. Hey, Inalin, you, may, uh, you are recognized. Sir, I think po yung magiging topic natin for today is about the leadership. Wow. Actually, your insight is very connected to, uh, to our topic because our topic for today is all about steps. In developing community leaders. So dito, makikita natin yung uh, uh, iba't ibang mga pamamaraan, proseso, at mga uh, kailangan uh, sa pagbuo o na paghubog ng isang community leader. So for, for, uh, for your discussion, we will have a activity. So our activity is entitled, Let's Discuss. Okay? For our instruction, so, you will be grouped into three. So, each group will be given a particular topic for the discussion through a graphic organizer. You can communicate with your group through a messenger. You will be given three minutes for the preparation and another three minutes for the discussion. Each group will have a representative for the explanation of work. So, uh... Any questions, clarifications, or reactions regarding our instructions? Are you sure? Baka mamaya may nagtatanong sa akin yun, hindi naintindihan yung ating discussion. Sir, ayun, so nakita natin si Marlito daw is nagkakaroon daw siya ng technical difficulties. So I think uh, nandyan naman yung mga kagroup niya para uh, pagtulungan kung ano man yung gagawin nila. And, uh, kindly inform Marlito na magkakaroon tayo ng discussion today. And yon. So, we will proceed now to your uh, assigned topic. Okay? So, so our topic for today is, uh, is steps in developing community leader. For group 1, which is the first and second step, spotting of potential community leader, awareness building, and conscientization process of potential leaders. For group 2, we have the, uh, the third and fourth step, which is core group formation and development and formation of the organization. So for the group number 3, we have functioning leaders and leadership advancement and successor leadership programs. Okay, so do you have any question regarding your topic? Are you sure? Yes, sir. Baka mamaya, matatapos na yung oras, tapos doon pa lang kayo magtatanong, di ba? Kaya ngayon, itanong nyo na. Kung may mga concerns ba kayo? Ayan. Wala na po. Ayun, so wala na po. So, I think they are all ready. So ngayon, uh, this is your rubric. Okay? Uh, first is use of time. Number two is feature graphics. Number three is required elements. Number four is visual clarity and thus appeal. Number five is content, spelling, grammar, and punctuation. So, are you ready? Are you ready, class? Yes. Okay. So, ngayon, punta na kayo sa inyong mga uh, messenger and makipag-usap na kayo sa inyong mga kagrupo. Okay? So, ayan. So, work, work, work. Good luck, everyone. Galingan, ha? Okay? Ayan. So, now, okay, timer starts now, okay? Ayan. 
kung may mga tanong kayo or concerns regarding our uh, discussion, feel free to approach me. Okay? Ayan. Okay. Ayan. So, dapat ngayon, nagko-communicate na kayo sa inyong mga group chats. Sapagkat napaka-limited lang ng ating oras. And alam ko na magagawan nyo yun, magagawan ng paraan sa group. Okay? Ayan. Sabi nga dito, work, work, work. Di ba? Mas maraming utak, mas madaming idea at mas maganda ang magagawa. Okay? Ayan. So, you only have two minutes. So, ngayon, uh, kumustayin natin ang bawat groups. Ayan. So, tignan natin. So, uh, for group 1 and representative, kumusta na yung uh, naumpisahan nyo sa ating topic? No, sir. Yes? Patapos na po, sir. Pinadrawin na lang po yung graphic organization. Wow naman. Napakabilis naman natin mag-isip ng mga group 1. So, ngayon, uh, dumako naman tayo sa ikalawang pangkat, which is or the group 2. Okay? So, any representative from group 2? Hello? Yes? Hello po. Yes, James? Okay naman po yung group namin, sir. Medyo nagkakaroon lang po kami ng problema sa step 3, pero tapos na po namin yung step 4. Ay, wow. So, yan. Kaya yan. Pagtulungan nyo pa. More inputs. Okay? Teamwork. Kaya yan. Ayan. So, you only have one minute and three seconds. So, how about the group 3? Ayan. Yes? Lahat naman po na magkikilangan po ang mga tapos na po tapos na po. Wow. Very good. So, meron na lamang kayong natitirang apat na po si Gundo. So, ngayon, you should finalize all of your outputs para makapag-prepare na kayo sa ating discussion. Okay? Okay, ayan. So, ngayon, sabi sa ano, ay pinag-ayon. Nagpapas na ng kanilang output ang group number 1. So, ngayon, yung group number 3 din ay uh, sined na din yung sagot. Okay? Uh, so, hinihintay na lang natin ngayon yung group number 2. Yan. So, aralin nyo na. Okay? Ayan. So, we are, ayan, nagpas na yung group number 2. So, I think, kompleto na yung kanilang mga output. Okay? So, if you have any concerns, any questions regarding your discussion, feel free to approach me. Okay, class? Ready na ba kayo? Yes, sir. Yes. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ready na po. Ready, sir. Nice one. Okay. So, now, let's proceed to your discussion. Okay? For the group number one, Okay. May I call the representative of uh, group number one? So as you can see in her graphic organized, we have five steps. We have observe consciously, spot potential community leaders, close contact with monetary people, build media relationships with the people, and community development. So for the whole explanation, so we need to monitor, examine, observe the people. Also, we need to be aware. Then the person needs to test the behavior with their actions and their actions so the people know the person also, that is the socialization of the interaction. So, as the people who build and keep their relationships, we have potential community leaders, we also know how to develop the community for good. So, these five steps help us to spot a potential community leader. So, the theory one step two, we have awareness building and consultation process. We have five aisles of represent first, leadership skills. This is the first of our leadership skills. Then she is also has a potential to be a leader. And she already knows how to act, how to follow. Next is sharing ideas. For us to be aware, we need to share 
about mental skills. She will be knows how to be sent to the people, how to know how to mentor the people around you for the Wow, it was an awesome presentation group number one. So, uh, during this part, uh, uh, this is the first crucial uh, part in steps in developing community leaders. Sapagkat dito, nabubuo yung observation. So, bago natin uh, uh, isipin o bago natin i-launch yung community leader, kinakailangan na magkaroon ng observation. Kinakailangan na makita na ito bang taong to is ina or yung skills niya ba is tama or uh, makakatulong talaga sa society. Okay? So now, let's proceed to the group 2. Okay? With that, let's have your class. Ayan. Palakbakan nyo ang mga sarili nyo. Group 1. Okay? So now, let's proceed to group 2. Okay? Are you ready, group 2? Yes, sir. Okay, nice. Very nice. Okay? So group 2. Ayan, yan yung kanilang nagawa. Good day, sir. I am James Kenneth Barantas and I will be the representative of Group 2 kasi po yung isa po medyo nagkakaproblema po sa internet. So, let's proceed to our topic po. Uh, step 3 and Step 4 which is uh, Core Group Formation and Development. Kung sa Step 1 po, parang naghahanap pa lang po tayo ng leaders ka lang po. Sa Step 2, hinahasa. Dito yes. naman po sa Step 3, formally na po na nagawa yung ating core group leaders no po as we can see po sa ating uh, graphic organizer po during this stage na din po ang meron po tayong core group members na kung saan po uh, slowly na ini-introduce po sa community pero hindi lang po sila basta-basta mga members but they also uh, provided with uh, formal leadership trainings po na kasi po they also lead Kung i-relate po natin ito sa school di pa po, meron po tayong SSG na we can consider as a core group leaders because they represent the whole uh, student community po. And we also have po na mga clubs, organization, mga class officers po sa loob ng school which we can consider po as uh, core group members as they lead po uh, in a specific uh, community or subject. Pero they are not just... Um, leading because meron din po silang mga training and orientation about leadership. Next, moving forward to step number four, which is the formation of the organization. Meron na tayong leaders, meron na tayong mga members. Ngayon naman po, sa step number four, magsiset up na tayo ng ating uh, community organization. Na po. As we can see po sa ating graphic organizer from the left side po, dito sa stage na to, ginagawa ang structure. Kung um, baga po sa building, di ba po, meron po tayong mga parang foundation po na nagpapatibay po, di ba? Parang kagalang din po sa organization, dito po binubuo yung mga vision, mission, mga objectives, or main goals po ng ating uh, organization na siyang magpapatibay or magpapastrong. Magkasama po ang mga formulated policies. Kasi po, kung marupok po yung uh, foundation or yung structure ng uh, organization, parang kagaya lang po ng isang barupok na tao bumibigay, wow. di ba po? But giving aside step 4 po ay napaka-important na step since ito po yung mag-dedicate or magpapakita kung gaano po katagal maglalas ang isang organization. The same with a uh, foundation of a building po na pag yung foundation po na ginamit po doon ng mga materials ay weak, mga ma mabilis lang po masira, hindi po magtatagal ang building. Unlike pag-concrete po yung ginamit. And lastly po dito din po sa step na to ay formally nararecognize yung mga leaders po natin. And that's all from group 2. Thank you po sa Pangawan. So with that, I give you an excellent presentation. So based on the presentation of group number 2, talagang napakahalaga. I like the word na pinag pinapatibay ang foundation ng fundasyon. Sapagkat dito, sa mga steps na to, sa dalawang steps na to, dito mas lalong uh, nahuhubog yung isang, uh, isang, isang community leader. So sa pagkakataong ito, uh, sa pumamagitan ng mga core group members, which is one of the main contributor para mas ma-enhance yung isang uh, community leader, ay nagkakaroon sila ng uh, interaction, nagkakaroon ng build-up of information, sharing of ideas, para sa ganun ay mas lalong makapagbigay ng um, intervention na mas makakatulong sa isang 
society. And also, meron siyempre, it also follows the standards with, which is there's uh, uh, their objectives na uh, anchored dun sa structure na binuo nila. Okay? So with that, uh, do you have any questions, clarifications, or naintindihan ba lahat ang ating uh, dinidiscuss ngayong araw? So far, po sa naintindihan. Ayan, nag-enjoy naman kayo. Nag-enjoy naman kayo sa ating talakay ngayong araw. Ayan, so nakakatuwa naman na nag-enjoy kayo ngayon. So ngayon, uh, let's proceed to group number 3. Okay? Ayan. So may I call on the representative of group number 3. Wow, it was a very good presentation, group number 3. Ayan, so makikita natin na this last steps, which is the fifth and sixth steps, na dito na talaga nakikita yung isang leader. So, nandito na yung presensya niya, ipinapakita niya, ipinapakita niya na yung mga skills na meron siya, and ipinapakita na, ipinapakita na niya yung kung gaano ba uh, katibay yung foundation na natutunan niya during those first support steps. So ngayon, di ba, bilang isang leader, di ba, or bilang isang community leader, hindi na hindi naman natin alam lahat, okay? So may mga may mga programs like seminars, webinars na mas makakatulong sa atin para mas ma-enhance yung leadership skills natin. And also, may mga uh, also may mga ibang mga activities na makikita natin na etong activities na to is mako-connect natin dun sa mismong community natin. And with that, mas makakakuha tayo ng idea and intervention na may iapian ng isang community leader dun sa kanilang community to aid an specific problem. So, uh, any questions regarding our discussion? Mukhang, mukhang lahat yata na intindihan. Mukhang wala na kayong mga tanong. Are you sure? Baka mamaya hindi nyo naintindihan tapos yes kayo ng yes, ha? Sure na, sure na, sir. Ayun. So, very good. So, now, ayan. So, so, now, so, uh, this is our question for you. So, why do we need to follow these steps in developing community leaders? So, I repeat the question. Why do we need to follow these steps in developing a community leader? Okay. Yes, Jimlin, you are recognized. Sir, napakalaga po na hindi na ang patilangan po natin hindi na to develop ng community leaders. Ano na po para po mapatakbo po ng mga ayos ay community leaders? Wow, very good. So, how about the others? So. Why do we need to follow these steps in developing community? Yes. Yes, sino yun? Ayan, so, ayan si James. Okay, James. Kailangan po natin sundin yung steps po. Kasi po kagaya po lang sabi ko po. 
kanina din. Mm-hmm. Uh, kagaya lang po yan, kailangan po natin i-build yung foundation ng yes. isang leader kagaya po sa isang organization. Kasi po, pag hindi po, hindi eh, mo marupok, bumibigay, walang consistency, <laughs> di ba po, paas ka ba? Pagpawala-wala, kagaya ng simpang po natin ngayon. <laughs> ano po, kailangan po natin kasi ng consistent na community leaders and that's why we should follow this bit. So, dapat hindi ma-shuffle or hindi po siya kulang kailangan po sapat because wow. we deserve a better leader. Yes. I like the word sapat, ha? Di ba? Hindi siya kulang, hindi siya sobra. Sapat. Okay? So, dapat pag community leader ka, dapat sapat ka sa isang community leader. Okay? So, next question is, can you cite specific situations where these steps are manifested in our community? So, I repeat. Can you cite a specific situations where these steps are manifested in our community. So, anyone? Ayan. So, mukhang... Sir. Yes, Nash. Mukhang si Nash ay ginaganahan ngayong araw. Kanina, kala ko, nagkakaroon siya ng technical difficulties. So, ngayon. Sir, elections po. Ano po yun? Like, election po, sir. Ayan, election daw. Election po. po. Pakikita na natin. Lagi po may proseso. Saka po may standard po. We make sure na kung sino man itong kung leader ay meron itong qualification. Yes. Very good. So, uh, how about other, the others? Anyone? Sir. Yes. Wala na bang uh, iba? Si James na lang ba? Mukhang wala na yata. Okay. Okay, so, so James, you are recognized. Thank you, Di ba po, as young po, di ba, sa mga elementary po, parang yung mga SPG po, yun. Di ba, bata pa lang po sila, parang tinitrain na po sila para maging leaders. Tapos sa high school, kinukontinue, meron tayong mga SSD, gano'n po, club organization, class officers, tsaka po sa, meron po tayong SK sa mga barangay na po saan po. As young as um, elementary students po, tinutuwa na po sila kung paano po, uh, mag-lead po as a future uh, leaders and stakeholders of our country po and community. Ayan. So, nakakatuwa naman na based sa mga sagot nyo, talagang kinakailangan talaga ng proseso, di ba? Na ang mga steps na to ay magsaserve as a guide for a, le- uh, for a community leader para mas ma-ready siya, di ba? Hindi naman agad, uh, halimbawa, ako, halimbawa, wala akong kaalam-alam, Okay. Tapos, gusto kong humabol ng president. Gusto kong humabol ng president kasi nasa puso ko. No. Dapat kailangan may proper trainings, niready mo yung sarili mo, alam mo yung sasabihin mo, and yung mismong position na in mo is related talaga dun sa uh, ginagawa mo or dun sa napag-aralan mo. And also, education, syempre, ay napanghalaga din dito, di ba? A well-educated uh, leader is very, uh, very important to be able to provide the right and appropriate uh, interventions for the development of a community. Okay? So, ngayon ay magkakaroon tayo ng uh, um, para malaman ko at uh, masukat ko ang inyong kaalaman batay sa ating uh, discussion, ay may sisend akong link which is for, uh, uh, sa ating uh, chat box. So, gagamit tayo ngayon ng Jamboard. So, sa Jamboard, dito nyo isalagay yung mga uh, natutunan nyo sa ating talakayan. Okay? Ayan. So now, we will proceed to the Jamboard. So, not, ayan, sinend ko na yung link. Ayan. So now, we will uh, enter to this link and uh, you may put your takeaways regarding our topic. Okay? Ayan, punta tayo sa the Jamboard. Ayan. Ayan. Mukhang wala pa yata. Ayan. So, ang mga natutunan daw nila is may harap bumuo ng isang organisasyon at pumili ng leader. So, I learned about the different steps in developing a community leader. Focus on developing the community. Okay? So, yung iba, meron pa ba kayong mga insights? Ayan. Ano yung mga natutunan nyo regarding our topic for today? Okay? 
aquí. Ayan. So, I learned about the different steps in developing a community leader. Kahalagahan ng mga steps na to so that we can have a better community. Okay? Ayan. So, wala na ba? Ayan. So, pumili ng leader. Ayan. I've learned how to build a strong community with a leader. Wow. Napaka ano naman. Ha? Napaka meaningful. We need to know. Ano daw? Ayan. I learned about the different steps in building a leader. Pumili ng leader na may kakayahan pamunuan ng ating komunidad. Okay? Choose the right leaders. Okay? Ayan. Ayan. So, nakakatuwa naman isipin na lahat ay napakaraming mga bagay ang inyong natutunan ngayong araw. So, uh, for our, our learning activity, okay, so, we have the activity which called Leader Kuyan TikTok Edition. Okay? Diba? Ngayon, sasayaw tayo, di ba? You, we will uh, present the steps, di ba? Through a TikTok edition. Okay. Ayan. For our instruction. Okay. So, based from your submitted activity, which is Leader Kuyan TikTok edition, all the submitted recorded performance will be played one after another. So, the rubric for grading will be presented. Few questions will be asked regarding the content of the video presentation. So, ngayon, ay makikita na natin yung mga TikTok videos nyo na sinabit nyo kanina. Okay. So, now, let's proceed. Okay. For our hour rubric, so, for content, is 25%. Originality is 25%. Creativity is 25%. Teamwork is 25%. A total of 100%. Okay? So, uh, naintindihan ba? Do you have any questions? Okay. So, now, let's proceed to the group 1. Ayan. So, ngayon, uh, ang presentation nyo, di ba? Uh, ipapakita nyo yung mga essential qualities ng isang community leader through a TikTok. So, ngayon, simulan natin sa group number 1. Okay? Ayan. Ayan. Di ba? So, now, uh, let's proceed to the second group. So now, let's proceed to group number three. Wow. 
Okay, so with that, I'll give you an excellent presentation. So all of the groups, very excellent, di ba? Kung nakita natin, hindi lamang natin di-discuss, di ba? So ngayon, ay tiniktok nyo din, di ba? Yung mga leaders na sa tingin nyo na meron da, uh, da dapat ang mga ito ay meron ng isang isang community leader. So now, ayan, this is our question. So what do you think are the essential qualities of a community leader? Okay. Anyone? Angel? Yes, Angel. Sir, I think for the essential qualities po of a good community leader is dapat po meron silang effective communication skills, dapat po confident sila, dapat din po marunong um, sila makapag-operate sa ibang tao, and dapat po open-minded sila, and also dapat po knowledge sila para mag-effective sila. Ayan, very good. So the next question is, uh, in our current situation, how important are these qualities in selecting our future leaders? I repeat, in our current situation, how important are these qualities in selecting our future leaders? Anyone? Yes, you know. Inalin. Yes, Inalin. Ayan, so nakakatuwa naman tignan na lahat ng mga natutunan nyo, di ba? Hindi, na, hindi lamang kayo natuto, di ba? Yung natutunan nyo, tiniktok nyo pa, diniscuss nyo. And di ba? That's what you call uh, learning by doing. So ngayon, uh, ayan. So to give you an overview, so this is our steps in developing community leaders. First is we have SAC, KPPL. First is spotting of potential community leader. Second is awareness building and conscientization process. Third is core group of formation and development. The fourth one is formation of the organization. The fifth one is functioning leaders. And the last one is leadership, advancement, and successful leadership program. So everybody say, SAC, EPPL. Okay? Again, again, hindi ka nagsasabay-sabay. Okay? SAC, EPPL. Ayan. So, those are the steps in developing a community leaders. To give you a more realistic uh, uh, situation, let's have our activity to uh, deepen your understanding and connect it in a real-life situation. Okay? So, ngayon. Ayan, mga suke. Ayan. So, we have our activity which is pamine. Like, comment, and Share. Ayan. So, murang-mura lang yan. Fresh yung divisorya. Ayan. So, for our example, ayan. So, halimbawa, ayan, gagamit tayo dito ng chat box. Magpapakita ko ng inaalarawan na kung saan imamayan nyo through our chat box. So, halimbawa, yung nakita kong picture is itong nakikita nyo sa ating visual. So, halimbawa, pamine cake. Okay? Pamine cake. Okay? Halimbawa, kung sino yung nagmine, siya yung magpukinalike niya ba? Magsishare ba siya or i-comment niya? So, sa pag-like, pag nilike niya, bakit niya ba nagustuhan yung picture? Pag sa comment naman, magbigay siya ng komento and i-coconnect niya sa ating nakaraang talakayan. And for the share, pwede niyang ibahagi sa kanyang kaklase na pwede sumagot doon sa ating mga larawan. Okay, ayan, ayan, okay. Okay, for five points. Pamahain direction, Okay. Okay, pamahin direction. Yes, Alia. Una nagmay si Alia. Yours na, yours na. For five points. Sila like mo ba yan? Yes? Sir, um, may two subjects. Ila like mo ba siya? Ila like mo? Iko. Yan. Bakit mo siya nagustuhan? Sir, kasi two subjects. Sama-sama po sila. Nagtutulungan mo para po sa ikaka o nagmang community pa doon po sa pag-upan. 
Wow, I like the word tagumpay ha. Napaka ano, napakalalim. So, you have your 5 points. So, your 5 points will be added to your uh, uh to your uh, long quiz, okay? So, now let's proceed to the next picture which is ayan. For 10 points, ayan, mura-mura for 10 points for mine. Dice, okay? Pamain dice. Pase, pamain dice. Yes, Erika. Erika Seng Seng, you're recognized. Yours na, yours na. Yes? Ilalike mo ba siya? Magko-comment ka ba? O isi-share mo? Yes, Erika? Wala yata. So, ang nag-next na nag-mine is Jim Lin. Yes, Jim Lin. Yes. Yes. Sir, gaya po ng puzzle, may mga proseso po sa pagpuo nito. Kaya, ang kanilang trigger ay may proseso o pagkakaisa sa buong sasagotan ko para makamit po ang solider ng ang kanyang nanayos po sa kanyang pagmintas po. Wow! Very good. So, you have your 10 points. Okay? So, yung mga ibang hindi pa nagmamind dyan, magmind na kayo. This is your last opportunity. Okay? So, last, for the last picture, for equivalent of 15 points, okay? So, yan. So, for this picture, okay? Ready kayo, ha? Ready? Pamine direction. I mean, pamine, I mean, pamine steps, okay? Pamine steps. Okay. So, Angel, Angel, yours na. Yes, magla-like ka. Comment, okay. So, let's go, let's go sa topic natin, which is, very good. With that, you have your 15 points. Okay, so mga nakasagot, ibunin nyo lang yung mga points nyo and it, it, is, it will be added to your long quiz. Okay? Ayan. Ayan. So for our short quiz, di ba? Para uh, makita natin yung mga natutunan nyo through a written word. Ayan. So, we will have your short quiz. So, isi-send ko itong link na ito sa inyong mga chat, uh, sa ating chat box para ma-access nyo. Okay? Ayan. So, nandyan na rin yung instruction. Okay? Pag may mga tanong kayo. Ayan. So, ayan. So, ngayon. Uh, ayan. So, nasend ko na yung ating link. So, Ready na ba kayo sa ating short quiz? Yes po. Are you sure? Yes po. Do you have any questions or clarifications regarding our uh, lesson? Wala na po. Ayan, very good naman. Ayan, so timer starts now. You have one minute. Okay. Only have twenty seconds. Ayan, so natapos na ang ating oras. So I think na napas ko na ang inyong mga assignment. And after this, ite check ko ang inyong mga ah, I mean. The quiz. I-check ko ang inyong mga quiz. Okay? So now, ayan. For your assignment, write a one-page reflection paper about who am I as a future leader. And for the part 2, which is let B, have an advanced reading about participatory action planning, which is um, based from Milagrito and Mendoza and B, Community Engagement, Solidarity, and Citizenship. Ayan. So, any questions? Uh, clarifications regarding our assignment. Uh, 
Ayan. So with that, ayan, I leave you a short message. Community is about doing something together. That makes belonging matter. And community is have a common and every community leader has a common end goal. And that is unity. With that, ayan. Thank you and have a nice day. Keep safe, everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Ayan, mag-iingat ang lahat. Maraming salamat. Thank you. Thank you, ingat.